Hi, this is an overview of alkene addition reactions. There are four of them. I would make flashcards for every one of these and then just memorize them. But here's a really, really good overview of alkene addition reactions. So what this really means is that the alkene undergoes addition um, in, in the reaction that I gave you, just a super generalized overview of this. Here's my alkene, all right, this is just going to be ethene, and we add something to it, all right? What happens is that one bond inside of the double bond breaks, all right? So we're going to break one bond inside that double bond, and then these two species are going to add addition and each make a single bond, okay? In essence, that's what happens. All right, now there are four ways that, the, that this can occur, and here are your models. Um, I'm using a cyclo, oh, excuse me, cyclohexene as my example in all of them, so you can see um, how these addition reactions occur. Notice I added the hydrogens just to be super explicit so you can see them. Uh, at this conjunction, that carbon is bonded to one uh, carbon, double bonded to one carbon here. There's three bonds, so there's one hydrogen. Okay, same at this carbon for that conjunction. Uh, we are going to add our hydrogen. So when I add, excuse me, when I add this hydrogen gas, no, you have to have a metal catalyst. So make sure that you add that to your uh, little note card, your review card. You have to have a metal catalyst. So this double bond, bond is going to break, changes to a single, and then those two hydrogens add right there and right there. Nice, very, very cool. Um, now this is called hydrogenation. Let me write this down for you. Hydrogenation, nice. So that is a hydrogenation addition alkene reaction. Next, uh, so we've got our cyclohexene and now we're going to add a halogen. And the halogen is either going to be a chlorine or a bromine, okay? A chlorine or a bromine. Um, that's what that X represents. So again, that double bond is going to break, become a single bond, and we simply add in the chlorine or the bromine. So I have two chlorines there, two bromines there. Nice. And this is called your halogenation. Let me write that down for you. Halogenation. Nice. Okay, over here, we have our alkene, the cyclohexene, and we're going to add one of our binary acids. Now the X, again, represents either chlorine or bromine. So you're looking at hydrochloric acid or hydrobromic acid. Uh, this is going to yield a single bond, so that double bond is broken, and then the hydrogen and the chlorine from that binary acid, from like the hydrochloric acid, is going to add. So there's your hydrogen and there's your halogen, either that chlorine or the bromine. And this is called a halohydrogenation. Uh, oh, excuse me, hydrohalogenation. I always have to think about that one. Hydrohalogenation, nice. Next, we're going to add water. So this is our fourth one. We're going to add water to our alkene, the cyclohexene. And this, again, super important, it has to happen with sulfuric acid, in the presence of sulfuric acid. So make sure you write that on your little flashcard. You have to have sulfuric acid on this one and memorize that. So when we add the water, that water is going to break into a hydrogen and a hydroxide. So you break the double bond, notice what happens. One hydrogen from the water goes here, and then the OH, that hydroxide, that alcohol group in essence, that alcohol group is going to go right there. And this is called our hydration. This is a hydration addition alkene reaction. Nice, so there are the four. There are the four that you can look over, chew on it, make it make sense, and then memorize it. Okay, good work you guys, have a nice day.